The coil spring draws your drill press's quill back up after you drill a hole. The coil spring assembly consists of the coil spring, a metal housing, and a backing plate. The spring comes already installed into the housing. After years of use, the coil spring might fatigue and break. Replacing the coil spring is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the depth stop indicator block. It's secured with two screws. I'll rotate it out of the way so it's clear of the quill recoil spring. There are two nuts that secure the coil spring to the drill press. I'm going to remove the outer nut. Next, I need to remove the tension from the coil spring. So I'm going to loosen the outer nut while holding the coil spring firmly against the drill press. You need to take care here because the coil spring is under a lot of tension. I've backed the nut off about 3 eighths of an inch away from the coil spring. Now I'm going to take a screwdriver with my hands clear of the coil spring and pull the spring away from the drill press housing. This will remove the tension. Now I can remove the nut and pull the coil spring away from the drill press. Now I'll install the new coil spring. I'll align the coil spring with the slot that's milled in the feed shaft. I'll thread one of the retaining nuts on until it's again about 3 eighths of an inch away from the spring. Now I need to tension the coil spring. For this part you'll want to wear a sturdy pair of gloves. If the spring comes loose as you're tensioning it, it can badly hurt you. You'll rotate the spring around to tension it. To determine the right direction, I'll hold the quill up a little bit, and as I rotate it, if it's pushing the quill down, that's the wrong direction. I want it to pull the quill up. So I'll rotate it counterclockwise. I'll rotate it around, and when I need to reposition my hands, I can just push the spring against the indexing notch on the housing. Another trick that I find helpful is to insert a small screwdriver through the ear on the spring. It just gives me another point of control as I tension the spring. Every so often, I'll go ahead and tighten up the nut so that the spring won't come free from the housing. And I'll go ahead and test the quill. I want to tension the spring until we'll always pull the quill back up. That still seems a little soft. It's kind of sticking at certain points. So I'll tighten the spring just a little bit more.
want to go even just a little bit more. The spring tension seems good, so now I'll focus on tightening up the nut that secures the coil spring to the drill press. If I get it too tight, the quill will be locked in place and won't retract. Too loose, I run the risk of the coil spring coming away from the housing and losing its tension. I'll make adjustments to the nut, tightening it or loosening it as needed until the quill operates smoothly. Seems just a little bit stiff, so I'll slightly loosen it. But again, I don't want to get it too loose or the coil spring housing can come free from the indexing notch and then I'll lose all the tension. So that's still nice and tight and the quill operates smoothly. So I think it's set. Now I'll place the second nut onto the spindle. And I'll tighten it up against the first. As I tighten the outer nut up, I'll need to hold the inner nut so it doesn't rotate. And you'll need a fairly thin wrench, or in this case I found some pliers that'll fit against that nut so I can hold it while I tighten the second nut. One last check on the quill. and it's ready to go. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the indicator block. Before I tighten it up all the way, I just want to make sure that the scale doesn't rub against it. That seems good. And that's all it takes to install a new coil spring on your drill press. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up 